Bayo Onanoga react after BATA filed motion asking court for a 30-day period to review all files. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we we'll post our juicy news update. Please click on the notification bell. Bayo Onanoga, the Special Advisor on Information and Strategy to President Tudumbu, has confirmed that President Bola Ahmed Tudumbu has taken practice step in his ongoing case in Washington, D.C. In Washington, D.C. In an official statement shared on his Twitter account on Monday, Onanaga announced that President Tudumbu has submitted a formal request to the court seeking a 30-day extension to allow for a prayer, allow for a comprehensive examination of all relevant documents. This document comes amidst concerns regarding the impending release of confidential files concerning President Tunubu by various U.S. agencies, including the FBI and CIA, in October. President Tunubu's request for a 30-day extension is aimed at ensuring that his confidential and legally protected documents remain undisclosed. Bayer Onanaga affirmed that President Tunubu is actively addressing his situation in Washington, D.C. by taking necessary legal actions. The extension request reveals the commitment to safeguarding the privacy and confidentiality of President Tunubu's records during the ongoing legal proceedings. Bayer Onanaga posted on Twitter with us. President Tunubu intervenes in his own case in Washington, D.C. And Bayo made the post in reply to this post which read thus. As I mentioned last week, President Bola Tunubu had not filed any motion yet, despite the fake news circulating on various news blogs. However, a motion was submitted today for intervention. To prevent the spread of misinformation, it is important to clarify that he is not requesting that his documents be withheld. Instead, he informed the court that the defendant, the FBI and IRS, did not have his interest in mind. This is because the document requested by the plaintiff includes the intervener's private documents, some of which are protected by the law. So then we should get used to the fact that um, he is a public figure and there is absolutely nothing can be done to make those documents not to... As in, it is possible that, uh, yes, they are protected by the law, but... If you come outside, go still come outside. There is nothing you will tell me, ne? absolutely nothing that you will tell me that will make me believe that he's not coming out to, how am I going to put it? He's not coming out to block those documents. Do you understand? There is nothing you will tell me. There's he this guy. Running from pillar to post will not save this man that has no regard for the people of this country. I did tell you, if this man had regard for us, you see this case, he go don't come down shame as in shame shamefully. He go don't cover his face in shame. Do you know abroad they are, they are structure, they have structure. I envy their structure abroad. Why? If you commit any crime, if like your papa make you be president, you go go jail. As in you go do your time. What in the law say go happen to you, will happen to you. Now before there. As it be, once you be 18, you commit any blend, blunder, you commit any mistake. Mm. The law is the law. Nobody saying, ah, uh, the person is, uh, is, is a baby. No, once you don't become 18. We have read in various newspapers, in various articles, where people actually lost their positions. Elected positions were not appointed positions. Elected positions just because of minor, minor issues. Why? Because over there, the law is the law. They have the rule of law. They have the or well, they have separation of powers. The courts cannot become and be threatened by the executive for what? Who be executive for where court? The courts not court. Courts is independent. Unlike here in this country, where the judiciary is afraid of the executive, the legislature is working for instead of the legislature to be working for the people or the citizens of Nigeria. The legislation is working for the executive. And the judiciary is working for the executive. This by another guy has, has no shame 
as a lightning as he is, he submerged himself up in the mud. What is what is that that his principal is hiding? Until the Supreme Court decide in this favor, so this evidence of criminal past record won't hold water. Already, Tunumbu has become internationally and global shame towards Nigeria. Only four months in office, economy grounded. <laughs> Thirty days so that they can manipulate their lies. I'm telling you, I just hope they're not granted that. Always preventing, always wanting to prevent ongoing event. There must be something wrong about and around Jokoban. That is the thing. There is no how you will come as now and tell the people of Nigeria that uh, you know it's not like he would uh, he does not want them to do this one or body. Other, there is absolutely no way. There is no way he will come outside and do something and people will not be like, eh, they'll be saying they no one's making making his issue in this thing or but it doesn't make sense, my darling. It absolutely does not. No, 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 wait till they had yes. Look, the thing is, let me tell this this should this is this should stick to everybody. If you are a if you are someone who do not want your 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 things outside as in your information, please stay away from public office. You get stay the heck away from public office because I kid you not, your things will be outside. All your things, everything concerning you will be outside, and there will be absolutely nothing you can do about it. In fact, the word the one will be say be your own, no, but the one will be saying no be your own, no, they're ready to come and accuse you for it. Take it like that. If you cannot take the heat, my dear, do not come into the kitchen. Don't come into the kitchen if you're not going to take the heat. Now he's coming out to ask for 30 days, 30 days. May they not grant any 30 days anything. No. They lie. Mm -mm. May they not grant any 30 days because believe you me, during just like during before pre-elections. This man had the opportunity to come out and say some things to even save himself. But no, he refused not. He refused to. He turned the blind eye to everything Nigerians were requesting from him. You know, both his certificate, both his, his background, everything. He turned the blind eye and a deaf ear to everything going on. So, and he threw in the face now. Make him do it to him. Make him face him very well. Hmm? Make him face him. The people of Nigeria... Enough is enough. He ought to get. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Even though, if, even though you don't want to tell me that, eh, it is so that eh, eh, the document, he has the right to protect his document. You know, it makes sense. Why? The people of Nigeria will always see that he has something to hide because they'll be like, why are you coming out to hide it? Like I said, if you don't want to, if you want to be a politician and don't have your things outside, it is very simple. Don't even be a politician at all. Keep your life private and hold your identity and hold your privacy. But do not come out for public office, for a public office position. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for telling me to listen. Until I come, you'll be next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.